you know, it says in Jude that we're supposed to contend for the faith once for all given to the saints. And, and uh, that's, what, that's what we do. That's part of our, our deal as believers is to contend for the faith. But what's happened in the last, oh, 20, 30 years, is there's been the, the rise of what's called discernment ministries. And uh, they, they rise up uh, really outside of the church and, um, and pretty much proclaim themselves to be the ones who discern for the church. And uh, the, the problem comes with that, and I, I believe these people are, are well-intentioned, but the problem comes is when the contention is, is not for the faith, but it's for oh, peripheral issues that surround the faith. And a lot of these discernment ministries um, really are contending for their particular eschatological view. Eschatology meaning the future things, how things play out uh, you know, as we move towards the coming of Christ and so on. And so uh, what happens is that a lot of these discernment ministries, if, if, if there are camps within Christianity that do not hold to that eschatological view, then, then those camps are suspect um, as being either not Christian or at the very, uh, you know, at best, you know, unthinking Christians. And, and so this, uh, this cannibalizing happens. And folks, I just want to argue for grace here. I want to argue that there are great great Christians in the various different theological camps that hold various different eschatological views. And, um, you know, unfortunately, the, the most vitriolic um, discernment ministries usually are in my eschatolo eschatological camp. And, uh, you know, um, I wish they weren't, um, just like the weird uncle I have that I don't like to hang around too much or really want people to know um, that I'm connected with him. But, Folks, we need to be. We need to hold our positions with grace. We see through a glass dimly. So what that means is, I don't know everything, and uh, I know there's going to be areas of my perspective on Scripture that are wrong. I, I'm in process with that. We all are, and so we've got to hold our positions humbly and not be suspect of every person that has a different view of eschatology or whatever.